Julia Meek, it's such a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for joining today. It is certainly my pleasure, Susan. Over the last 40 years, you have been a beloved fixture of this community, both the arts and culture reporter at 89.1 WBOI, as well as the host of Folk Tales and Meet the Music. We so appreciate all that you have done in our community. Can you tell us a little bit about your career? How did you get started? As with many things in your life, I couldn't say if it was nature or nurture, hardwire, encouragement, but all of those things, because I've always loved art and music and was subjected, exposed to it, encouraged in it my whole life. I also, I guess, was geeky enough that I loved being the scribe, taking notes, asking questions. I, it's my nature and putting it all together and moving through life, especially being born in 1950. It was a good time for kids to live their dream to do what they wanted to do. Be as geeky as they wanted, be as creative as they wanted. I took all that to heart and here I am. It just came naturally and I couldn't help myself. Well, you have the pleasure of doing lots of interviews, being uh, somebody who helps create a platform for local artists and creatives to share their ideas and their voice with our community. Why is it so important for artists and musicians and creatives to have a voice in our community and participate in setting the direction for Fort Wayne and Northeast Indiana? Well, you know, Susan, that's a good question. And in many ways, they are the voice and the heart and the soul, or at least they represent that of our fair city. And I can't imagine a better way to shout out and show off our own art centricity. Love it. What is the one thing or maybe two things that you wish more people knew about arts and culture in our community and the people that make it happen? Since I do have the sources and resources to know what's going on, I simply wish that more people knew more about what was going on and then could spread that good word even more. That is a great answer. You've been doing this for a long time, <laughs> 40 years, a 40-year career. How has our local arts and culture scene changed in that time? I was born in a good year, 1950. It was wonderful for all kinds of development that would never stop. We might have ups and downs developmentally as any metropolitan area did, but our ups were wonderful. Our peaks were high. Our art centricity was always on an upward trend. And my goodness, the roller coaster ride, the thrills get bigger as we keep hitting new heights that just won't quit. The last five to 10 years, when we talk about the arts and culture explosion, the wonderful development that's happening right here in Northeast Indiana. It's phenomenal. It's been so enriching and happy to see it all happening from this vantage point. And all we can see is we're going up and up and up. Well, that is a great segue to my final question for you. What do you see as the future of an increasingly art-centric Fort Wayne in Northeast Indiana? Well, one of the last times I was fortunate enough to get to talk with you and Dan doing the State of the Arts report, as a matter of fact, for looking back at 2021 and forward to 2022. I was absolutely thrilled to hear all about the ACT development plan here in Fort Wayne. Was encouraged beyond words to hear that we were beating the odds nationwide for growth and development and attracting creatives and on the way to bigger and brighter and incredibly important things. So I am looking forward to having even more art-centric avenues, to having more art centricity and art this way, the mural work, the public artwork, the private projects, everything that's happening here in Fort Wayne and representing Northeast Indiana. We ain't seen nothing yet. We are ready to see what's coming and I can't wait. Julia, thank you very much for your time today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Likewise, thank you for inviting me.